They say these will be the best years of my life. I think not. <laughs> Home is where the heart is. That's a lie, too. Alan, do you know how embarrassing it is to take her out in public and have them stare at us like she's some kind of monster? The only one who ever loved me for being me is dead. And what did I have to show for it? A raggedy hammock. What did I know? It was the best present I could ever receive. Or was it? What a terrible day. First my period, then being shot at. My life changed when I fell from that old hammock into this new world, Arbor Centrium. New friends like me call it the Bombardiers. New friends not like me, a talking fox, a mechanical mare. King Leopold of Arbor Centrium was capturing and killing children based on a prophecy. A prophecy proclaiming a deformed child would usurp the throne. Little did I know, I had fallen smack dab into the middle of a war between kingdoms. Queen Amora of Savaria sent in agents to Arbor Centrium to free the children and allow them to refuge in her country. Our bombardier adventures took us from ground to flight upon an airship piloted by a smuggler hired by the Queen, an air pilot captain known to be the most daring of his time. He was assisted by a female aero bomber who defected from the King's Brigade. I became part of the resistance, agreeing to help free the children held captive. Jasper and I became separated in the woods but were reunited, unfortunately, by the King's Brigade. The King agreed to release Jasper if I could take his sword away from him. It was up to me, a girl of 13, to save us all. Everyone besieged me, but I pressed on. I would not let evil prosper. And just like that, a girl who hadn't been good enough before suddenly was. I fulfilled the prophecy and saved the kingdom. They say you can never go home again. You know what? I'm good with that. <laughs>